Com. Real fighter right here, Eric Apple. Yeah, definitely no stranger to uh, the mixed martial arts scene. If, uh, you buy those uh, like legions of uh, King of the Cage DVDs, you're all on there. Like uh, some of my favorite quotes from you about the uh, bitch slaps some people get before going into the ring. <laughs> Uh, so what's coming up for you next in uh, 2008? Huh? Well, 2008 is going to start off with a bang for me. Uh, I'm already training right now, so I'm going to be training hard all through January and beginning of February and February 13th. Back there in the WEC, it'll be live on Versus, and I'm going to be on the main card because, of course, I ain't fighting no undercard. There you go. So, and like, I mean, how was the uh, injuries? I was like, you know, kind of like Wikipedia you a couple nights ago. I'm not a stalker, but you know, I just want to learn a little bit more about you. I was like, dude, this dude's been like knees, wrists, like everything, man. You know, before I got into fighting, I had over 10 surgeries just from you know other sports, BMX, motocross, growing up playing baseball, football. The real reason I turned to fighting is because this is the safest thing I could find to do. This, you know, this is no problem. I'll take a broken nose over knee surgery any day. So, so you're in a WC now. So are you still able to do the commentating for? Uh... Yeah, that's kind of a, a different program. They have the understanding that I can commentate whoever I want to. But I'm, as far as fighting, I'm, I'm all with the WEC, and you know it really is. It's a tremendous organization. I mean, some of the greatest fighters in each weight class. I mean, you guys like Uriah Faber, guys like Anderson Silva, Chael Sonnen. Uh, I'm sorry, not Anderson Silva, Paulo Filo. Yeah. So I mean, there's really, really tough guys. Carlos Condit, Brock Larson. I mean, John Alessio. I mean, these are all you know world class fighters in the WEC. Yeah. So. I mean, it's by no rate a second-class league, and everyone who, who knows MMA understands yeah. that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So what do you think about this uh, la, uh, this uh, Thursday's uh, this Thursday's card? Uh, you, know, you know, I didn't really have too many surprises. You know, I really don't believe that anybody in America at 145 pounds is going to give a threat to Uriah Faber. I think it's going to take somebody from Japan, from the Shuto organization, or possibly that kid Yamamoto. Somebody like that is really the only person who's going to really bring much of a challenge to Uriah Faber. And I also, uh, I pretty much knew Paulo Filo would be able to, to defeat Chael Sonnen. And, and you know, Chael Sonnen, you know, saying he didn't tap on that, you know, that, that he did the same thing to Babalu. He likes to yell when he's near his submission, hoping the guy's going to let go, and then he can continue fighting. But he doesn't realize in the rules it says you can't yell and scream, that that's a submission. Yeah. He did the same thing. Babalu, Babalu broke his foot and he yelled and screamed. Same thing, Paulo Filo, he yelled and screamed in pain. He yeah. goes, I didn't tap. No, you can't yeah, yell. No, yeah, he, yeah, he didn't tap. So come on, but, uh, Chell, don't be trying that stuff again. It's twice yeah. now. Yeah, he didn't tap, but if you look at the replay or even his still pictures, like uh, on my website, like Sherdog, my goodness, you know, his arm was All extended. All the way extended. I, uh, you can eyes looking straight at, the, eyes straight at the referee going, ah! <laughs> He's like, I think the ref was like, "Do you want to quit?" He's like, "No, I don't want to quit." And he asked him twice, but you know, dude looked like he's in pain. You, get his you arm know, broke. life over limb, life over limb. I mean, <laughs> yeah, so, man. So, what else? What else is coming up for you, Eric? What else? You know, just staying busy. Supercross season coming up. I host Supercross as well, and uh, you know, got a lot more X Games events, uh, do tour events. I also host the uh, Rebel X Fighters events, which is five huge international motocross events. Uh, they have one in Brazil, one in Spain, one in Greece, uh, all over the world, Mexico City. So you know, I'm super busy with that kind of stuff. Fighting is just something I do for fun, and believe me, I wish I, you know, I wish I had nothing else to do but stay home and train and be able to fight year round. So I got to pick and choose when my fights are. But you know, it's it's been long enough. I got that itch, and February 13th, so I'm gonna bring it to somebody. Sweet. So you don't know who your opponent is yet? I'll find out here in the next week or two, but it doesn't matter. Ouch. Uh, they definitely can't wait to see it. So uh, you know, it's gonna be WC on the uh, Versus Network and. Uh, Hey, Eric, anybody want to shout out sponsors? Anybody helping pay your bills? Hey, just want to thank everyone here on the mat, Hawaii, the best place to come on, get some gear here in Hawaii. Also, cannot forget Metal Militia as well as Hitman Fight Gear for taking care. I love the guys in the Metal Militia, man. They're the ones who got me watching the uh, X Games. Man. <laughs> love those dudes. The originators. There you go, man. And for Eric, this is Darnell Mason for MMAHawaii.com, bringing real people, real fighters, and real pay. All right.